So this is the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, also known as the SNES Mini. And I was pretty lucky. Um, these are still hard to come by. And I was at Toys R Us with my brother and they had just stocked up. There was a whole ton of them. It was limit one per customer. And uh, I literally have not opened this. This is absolutely brand new. A beautiful retro box. Um, looks great. It's got all the, really the best games of the, uh, the entire SNES catalog. Uh, you can see uh, quite a great list of games. There's certainly a bunch of other great games on the system, but um, when you have to pick a handful of games, I think they did a, a pretty good job. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about um, Donkey Kong Country, uh, but more than anything, Super Metroid. I think Super Metroid is the greatest game ever created. There it is right there. And uh, I like to uh, play that game and, and kind of speed run it. I'm not that great, but I'm decent. And um, there's really just no other game like it. Um, so anyway, let's take a look. Uh, beautiful box again. Um, you know, it's just like 19, uh, the early 1990s all over again when I was a teenager and this came out. It was the system to have along with Genesis. So let's open this up. I'll do this for the, uh, the first time. Okay. And uh, let's see what we get here. Okay, sorry about that. So here is the paperwork. Looks like we've even got a, uh, if I remember correctly, those are posters that came with all the, uh, uh, back in the NES they did it, and the Super Nintendo con uh, continued the tradition of giving you a poster of all the games. Um, here we've got the... Uh, Looks like the AC adapter to power it with the USB port. Um, this has got to be a uh, controller. So let's take a look at this. And from what I've heard, these things are just like the originals. Oh yeah, it feels perfect. That is wonderful. Wow. It's got that same textured feel. It's hard to see, but there's a, uh, a little bit of a texture to it. And it really made for a nice, uh, nice feel. That's great. So we've got uh, two controllers. The, uh, the second. Oh yeah. And uh, sorry for the jumpy camera. You'll feel like you're right here with me. I'm sure. Um, a little bit excited, but uh, that's a dead match. Wonderful. Okay. Next, we have the console itself, and this is incredibly small. Wow. So let's take a look. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. Let's see what we get here. Look at that. Wow. Just like the original. Um, now this doesn't open, so that's where the cartridges used to go. And when you had a cartridge in there, you would push the eject button, which is no longer functional, and it would pop the cartridge out. So that was a little bit of an improvement over the NES, where you had to just kind of push everything in and push everything out. Um, this, on the uh, original SNES, just popped it right out. Now, uh, here's the power button, so that's still functional. And from what I understand, the reset button now functions as a game saver. So if you do that, it saves your game. I could be wrong, but that's what I believe I've heard. And then the um, no longer functional original control ports, that's what the input used to look like. Now uh, that is traded out in favor of uh, USBs, I believe. Yeah. So I think what happens is the USB connects to there, and then you plug it into that uh, piece here, maybe something like that. We'll figure it out. But um, yeah. Oh, actually, so here's the controller input. Looks a little different. Interesting. So we'll have to figure this out. Maybe 
Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. So this, where the controllers used to be, pops out, and there's the control inputs. I love that. That's really cool. I love it. So that, they've kind of kept the, uh, the same theme alive, right? So where the controllers used to go, now it's just like an upgraded uh, port behind this cool plate. So that's done really nicely. I love it. Cool. Okay. So we've got that. And I think there is some additional cables in here. Okay, so that is, oh, that's the power cord. And this is uh, HDMI. Wonderful. So that's it, guys. Um, the beautiful uh, SNES Classic, also known as the SNES Mini. Really true to form. I would say this is about a quarter of the size of the original SNES. Like if you put four of these, like here, 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 and here, you'd have closer to the original size. But um, this thing is super portable. So I think uh, this will come on every vacation and just uh, be great, especially for the, the younger kids who you know, are now playing with the Switch. Um, it'll be cool to show them all these classic games and kind of see where Super Mario Odyssey came from and all these other great titles. Um, but uh, this is fantastic, uh, great uh, design, made very well. Uh, the box is gorgeous, everything about it. Uh, this is going up on my uh, retro game collection display. I've got a huge retro Nintendo store cabinet that uh, this will go in. This is really nice. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm literally holding my phone and trying to let you feel the excitement as I tear through everything. But um, very cool. Highly recommend it. Now it's time to go play. See you later.